Morning folks. Day soap is brought to us from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. This is the uh, Crown King version line of the uh, dorm. This particular scent is one of those that won't be for everybody. It is a uh, cannabis flower egg nag champa and that's what it looked like on the inside. I think this came out in 2017 maybe. Don't think it's available anymore but um, uh, it, this scent won't be for everybody. I also got the matching aftershave this morning. And for usual suspects, I've got the uh, Taconic pre-shave oil. Been using two pumps per shave. Got the uh, Crown King Allen Block complete with rubber band this morning. And Sterling's uh, unscented uh, witch hazel that's methylated. Got it whipped up here in my smooth bottom bowl found in a uh, thrift store. Got a little carried away this morning. Still using the uh, Omega Bore Brush. I think it's 10015 is the model. And if you haven't seen the bottom just yet, that's what the bottom of the brush looks like. It's um, yeah, it's got a pretty good uh, backbone quality to it, and uh, it, there's not a whole lot of scratch left in it. But uh, I've got this. Uh, it's a little bit denser than what I normally would whip up. Started out with it being pretty wet, but I worked it up in. It looks pretty good. Um, blade of the day is a treat Dura Sharp. It comes double wrapped, and this is what the, this particular box looks like. A lot like the wrapper. The uh, advertisements I've seen for this uh, particular blade uh, looks like it's in yellow and red container as opposed to the blue and white here. So. What you may order might be different than this one here. Uh, as it goes for cost per pack and that and per blade, I think it works out if you buy the 200 pack. I think it, right now it's working right around the 11 cent mark per blade. Not too bad. And um, shaver of the day, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce this. I know the short version will be it's a yaki slant, but I think the wording in there is a, a Gamamon. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but at any rate, the color of this is what is referred to as antique, and it looks kind of vicious out there <laughs> when you look at it like this. The uh, material that the uh, uh, head and uh, handle is made out of, according to the website, is uh, going to be zinc alloy, and the handle is hollow, and this handle is a two-piece handle. I'll go ahead and take this part and kind of show you how that looks. So there, it is hollow, but it is capped off on the end of the handle there. So if uh, it doesn't come with a travel case, but since the handle is two piece, it might make good for a travel handle perhaps, as well as, you know, the, the cap and head, I mean the head. <laughs> Anyway, uh, but it doesn't come with a case, so that would be something you'll have to work out. But since the handle does come apart like that, it might make make for a good travel razor if you can get used to shave with it. I haven't shaved with it just yet, so I don't know how aggressive it is. Weight-wise, I think I've got this worked out correctly. The weight is like 85 grams, and that's roughly 3 ounces. And as it goes for the total length, I think it's uh, like 100. 103 millimeters and about four inches in total length. So it's it's not exactly a short setup, but it's not four and a half inches. That half inch makes a world of difference. A couple of squirts here. But at any rate, we'll go ahead and get started with this pre-shave. The uh, but it is not a heavy razor by any means. It's right around three ounces to me is a uh, if you're looking for a razor that's got a little bit of weight behind it, three ounces is not a bad bad place to be. If you're looking for something lighter, yeah, this won't be for you. But it, it seems to feel good in the hand for me, even though the handle is a bit longer than what I would really prefer, but sometimes it's just what you're used to. Give it a try, you never know, you might actually like it. It works out that way some days. Where you try something new and didn't think you'd like it and come to find out you did. Matter of fact, this scent is a lot like that. 
it was not my choice. <laughs> I, my wife was one that encouraged me to go ahead and uh, give this a try. And uh, so uh, I did. And Manny did. He gave it a try. It was not to his liking. The scent wasn't. <laughs> the performance of the soap is just fine. <laughs> you know how scents are. Sometimes, you know, you, some people might like the scent. Some people may not. It just depends on the nose. For me, one of the reasons why I think it's growing on me is uh, the fact that uh, the scent strength of the soap as well as the aftershave is, uh, uh, in case you might say, I would give it upwards of a strong, top end of medium, middle, middle of the road on its way to being strong, which works for me. For my nose, the way that it is, it really needs a stout scent especially if I'm going to smell it throughout the day. And even by the end of the day, I have a tendency to still be able to pick it up, pick up that scent every so often. I don't think this scent is offered anymore, or perhaps it might be under a different name, but I don't think it is. Could be wrong. I don't really know for sure. But I do know it's not under Torm anymore. At least I haven't seen it in a while, and it's not pulling up on the website. It, it's a scent, like I say, it, it, at least I can smell it. As soon as I open the lid to the container, my nose picks it up, lathering, I'm picking it up. So for me, it, it you know, it starts to work into, I want to try to see if it'll grow on me because this is a very unique scent. It won't, it won't be for everybody. Here we go. This is, uh, by most accounts from what I have seen, from uh, folks uh, shaving with this, they refer to this as a fairly aggressive shaver, maybe evil. <laughs> I should say that uh, today is a uh, hump day, Wednesday, and it's also November 11th. And for here in the States, that's a uh, Veterans Day. And Yaki's got a sale going on on their stuff. Uh, some of their stuff, I should say, uh, today. So, in other words, if you were looking for the head, the, the slanted head, you could probably get it, I think, under $5. Uh, in other words, uh, it might be worth checking out. I have a, I'll have a link down below uh, for this particular shaver, and, and uh, you can kind of sort things out. You can hear the feedback on it for sure. And, uh, yeah, there is quite a bit of blade feel. If you're not looking for an aggressive shaver, this will not be one for you. It's, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's got a little bit of blade feel. Matter of fact, if there was ever a time to try a pre-shave, this would probably be about the time to do it with a shaver like this. Post shave is going to be awfully important also with this one here. I can kind of tell. I don't know if I could shave with this on a daily basis or not. I would really have to be very particular about my, uh, especially my, my pre-shave routine I've got down pretty good. Not that the, my post isn't. But my pre-shave routine pretty much will fit. Will work with uh, a mild shaver, an aggressive shaver. In other words, that one's, you know, that's pretty easy to for me to do on the pre-shave routine. But the uh, typically, my post-shave is not really set up for a consistent uh, aggressive shave. So in other words, uh, kind of thinking that a uh, aftershave balm might be more in order as opposed to an aftershave uh, in a way of a liquid alcohol or anything like that. Because this particular razor has got a lot of blade feel to it. And if I did, I can't, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll hold off on saying it on what that blade is doing. Blade feels okay. I mean, it's cutting through the whiskers with no problem. It might be just the way that the head is designed on the feedback. 
but it does feel like the va the blade is um I say it may just be the design but if I didn't know any better kind of feel like the uh blade's got just a little bit of a vibration to it but it just might be the way it's designed And it might take a few shaves with this particular shaver to find out what blade uh, will work best for it. I've used this blade, the street blade, off and on in other shavers and had pretty good luck with it. I mean, to the point where I bought a hundred pack of them a while back. Had pretty good luck with this blade, but I don't know. In other words, maybe this shaver needs a different blade where it's a bit smoother. Because right now it's aggressive. Oh, Lord. Gentle pressure, in other words. Angle you'll figure out because it's going to let you know. <laughs> That'll be one of the first things you'll notice is getting the angle right. And then next will be the pressure. You definitely want to pay close attention to the pressure on this shaver. This shaver won't be for everybody. So if you're not into aggressive shavers, I would put it this way. You probably want to stay away from this one. But if you like aggressive shaves... You got a beard that uh, needs something of the sort like this? This will be the shaver for you. <laughs> yeah, I think I probably ought to shave with this a, a few more times and uh, swapping out blades and see how it works. In other words, even going with a feather, go with a derby. Derby is usually considered uh, more on the uh, milder edges and then, you know, feather being on the sharper uh, end of things. And, uh, Persona is my go-to blade. It's one of them. Aster, the greens that are pretty good for me. Lord Cools. Yeah, because this against the green pass is not comfortable. <laughs> it does. It, it has you <laughs> thinking, I need to swap out this blade. It's a brand new blade, so it's not that it's dull, it's just that with this particular shaver, I'm not too sure that a milder blade would be a better choice. Yeah, I can kind of tell how this blade's going across my face. Face might need some extra attention <laughs> after I shut the camera off. I might be using a aftershave balm. Soap is working out great. Like I say, I think this came out in 2017 when I was scraping it out of the uh, container, out of the jar, if you will. It uh, still nice, soft easy to scoop out it was uh it's a great soap now don't get this confused crown king came out that label came out a while back so in other words the ck6 that's not this one this was i guess you might say the first version of the uh, crown king line perhaps maybe in other words this soap's been around for a little bit as it goes for poche, <coughs> excuse me, poche feels great. Usually does with Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements products. I haven't had one yet that didn't feel good. Feels pretty nice, smooth, moisturized. As it goes for, I probably because of my inexperience with this particular shaver, I still got just a little bit left. So the efficiency is still pretty good. It's just that I think I was being pretty uh, careful on my pressure. Because I noticed on my cheeks up here, boy howdy, that blade was, um, in other words, I could already tell my face was starting to get a little sore. In other words, not wanting to get razor burn or anything like that. So I think I was a little light on the pressure down here, so I missed just a little bit. But overall, still, you know, a very efficient shave. Let's see what the album block has to say now. 
It's it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna have to use a different blade, a couple more blades, and see what see if I find one that's gonna match up with this one here. I don't know that this one, and it could be the shaver itself, but I don't know that this is a good matchup for blade and razor or shaver. A little bit of stinging everywhere, just little parts. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't have any wholesale uh, stinging. It's just little little splotches here and there, especially on my neck on each side here. Uh, it, I need to get some more shaves in with this shaver to get a get a good feel for it. But at least uh, no weepers, no cuts, no nicks. For the most part, I'm not really noticing anything in the way of any kind of razor burn or anything quite like that very close shave <clears throat> for me it's a uh, I like I like these kind of shavers in that they're challenging may take a moment or two to learn how to use them this is where a, a mentholated <laughs> witch hazel comes in handy something that has a cooling effect help calm the skin down still got a little bit of shaving cream there I would I put just a little bit too much water in here in the beginning so uh, I guess you might save me working up my lather I worked up quite a bit of lather in there there's a lot there's a lot left in my brush this brush here I don't think I mentioned it earlier but in previous videos but it hits dollar wise right around the six dollar mark Pretty good buy. Uh, I like these brushes. These uh, uh, Omega brushes that are uh, hit that price range really work well for me. The knots are about a 22 millimeter knot. Uh, not a real big one, but not a real small one. Small maybe by today's standards in that 26, 28 seems to be what a lot of folks like. 24 is about as big as I like to go. 26 is, gets to be pretty, that's pretty big on my face. 22 works out rather well. Face has calmed down quite a bit, so this this scent I used it yesterday. Um, four hours later, I could still smell without a problem. That's the reason why I like this scent. I can smell it throughout the day. I guess probably what I should have done back then is went ahead and got the uh, beard oil to match the scent. <laughs> Put that right up here. I'll be smelling it all day. <laughs> for me, this, this scent here works well for me. My nose uh, appreciates it. It does. It smells good. Overall, pretty good shave. I think I'll go ahead and set up another shave using this same shaver with a different blade. And so that way we'll get some kind of idea of what we think about this slant. As it goes for what it looks like, it looks like they just took um, the cap and the base plate and just gave it a slight, just a slight twist. Um, but you can kind of see, let me go ahead and wipe that off. Hopefully the camera might be able to pick it up. Pick up that blade gap and the way that blade is twisted. This is not the only one that I've seen like this. I've got another razor that uh, the head looks an awful lot like this. Blade. Uh, gap and way it looks and the way it's twisted and it's just as aggressive as this one here and It seemed like the two are related My experience with that razor is that I never did find a blade that really matched up all that well It's just an aggressive shaver Hope everybody's doing well stay safe and smooth shades to you